What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel for another FM22 video and today we are talking about new gens and how to get the best new gens out there by visiting some of these clubs and picking up some of the elite talent that comes through their youth ranks. Now I'm only going to touch on European clubs in this particular video. If you drop a like on the video and this video gets to let's say 100 likes I'll do a video on South American teams as well. Now what I will say is that we aren't going to talk about your big elite Elite top five tier um, clubs or leagues should I say I'm going to talk to you guys about the ones where you may be able to find that little diamond in the rough that will cost that little bit a uh, little bit less and hopefully you get a little bit more bang for your buck I'm going to talk about 10 of these clubs today and we're going to start off talking about what the differences are and what you need to look out for in these clubs so without any further ado oh, let's get into it so guys, we are going to start things off here. Club number one, I'm going to give you a little bit of a spoiler, is Red Star over in Serbia. That is the team that I'm using for my live YouTube save. Please do go and check that out. Um, we are doing very, very well on the channel. We are going into season number four with Red Star. We do this uh, a live series. You can catch up with the VODs. Uh, they are all on my channel in a nice little playlist, which I will link below. But this is Red Star. This is team number one. And as you can see, if we go over to the overview tab and we go to the facilities, you can kind of see what facilities they are working with here now the way football manager does this is slightly frustrating the way it is displayed is in text format so as you can see here in terms of their training facilities they've got excellent training facilities excellent youth facilities good academy coaching and exceptional youth recruitment so all of these have different things that they have to that they that they mean basically so the training facilities is everyone at your club so everyone at your club is affected and impacted by your training facilities the having the better training facilities the better sort of your players will train effectively but this covers absolutely everybody from your new gens all the way up to your first team that is everybody it includes everybody there is a misconception around training facilities and youth facilities the youth facilities belong to everyone before your youth intake that you get each year so having good excellent whatever youth facilities helps the young players get to a better standard before they get to your your club and your training facilities the junior coaching again is sort of synonymous with that as well having a higher level of junior coaching fits in with the youth facilities and being able to develop these players before they come into your youth intake and then obviously the youth recruitment there at the bottom um, as you can see for red star which is exceptional that is how good the team is at going out into the world and finding the talent and some of this will be affected by how many clubs a sort of in your vicinity so for instance if you are a lower level club based in and around Manchester the fact that Manchester United and Manchester City are there are going to sort of impact this for you now I mentioned that this is done in text format but there are some numerical values behind that so if we go into the um, in-game editor we can see in the club details here and we go on to facilities you can scroll down and you can see the training facility level here is 16 the youth level facilities uh, youth facilities sorry are 16 the junior coaching is 16 and the youth recruitment is 20 so that is some a little bit of a comparison for you just off of this instance these attributes are ranked uh, ranked sorry uh, from one all the way through to 20, 20 being the best, one being the worst. Um, and I'm gonna show you, thanks to the power of Jack, my editor, on the screen now, what these different levels mean to correlate with the text that you guys will see in game so if your facility level is between zero and three it is considered to be poor which is not great um but everyone has to start somewhere four to five in terms of the attribute that is considered basic facility level six to seven is listed as below average eight to nine is adequate 10 to 11 is average uh, 12 to 13 is good 14 to 15 is great, 16 to 17 is excellent, 18 to 19 is superb, with that 20 being the goal of state-of-the-art facilities. So without any further ado, let's get to the clubs and talk about their facility levels and potentially I'll talk about one or two bargains that you may be able to find in their youth ranks. 
So we are kicking things off in Serbia with Red Star. And as I said, these clubs aren't going to be the sort of elite level teams. You are going to be able to pick up some bargains here. And we're going to start with Red Star. Obviously, they have the excellent uh, training facilities, excellent youth facilities, as we mentioned earlier on in the video. They also have good academy coaching and that exceptional youth recruitment. For me, it is the exceptional youth recruitment that is the key. That is what I look for in all of these sort of clubs I can use uh, to pull in some of their players. If we go into their under-19 squad, come on, game. If we go into their under-19, squad i'm gonna earmark some little bargains for you uh because of having done this uh, or doing this as a save i know who some of these players are uh, so stefan uh mirakovic is they got a uh, goalkeeper that they have got he's 16 years of age very very nice already in terms of his goalkeeping attributes very nice mentals and decent enough physicals he's listed as a promising goalkeeper but can turn into a little bit of a beast another one that i would like to um uh, draw some attention to is Mateja Babanj is how I think I'm going to say this or Babanja uh, I, I get corrected by this all the time uh, about doing this uh, wonderful little player starts age 16 um, looks great very well rounded already could kind of turn into whatever you want him to be either a striker either a winger a central attacking midfielder he can kind of do a little bit of everything and then the last one that I want to talk about is Marco Lazatic the forward who I believe has uh, as of yesterday uh, at the time of recording uh, agreed a deal to go to AC Milan so in FM 23 you might not be able to pick him up but definitely give him a go in this year's FM let's move on to club number two Club number two on the list is over in Belgium and we are talking about Club Bruges. Now, if we have a look at the Jupiter Pro League over in Belgium, there are so many clubs that you could take here. Bruges being one of them, uh, Genk, a fantastic club, um, Ghent, another good club, Standard Liège, and of course, Anderlecht, who are also known for producing uh, new gen talent. But if we go into their facilities, you can kind of see why I've picked Bruges as the crowning light in Belgium. State of the art training facilities, state of the art youth facilities, good academy coaching, and excellent youth recruitment so that you know the players coming through this club are going to be of that elite, elite caliber. Um, if we go into their under 18s, the guy that I'm going to talk about here is Noah Mbamba, a young centre back. He is 16 years of age, uh, fantastic technicals on a 16 year old, decent enough mentals, and very, very good physicals, double digits in every single one of those for a centre back. He's just almost six foot one centimeter shy he's good on both feet so i think noah and bamba is your hot prospect out of club bruges let's move on to club number three Club number three on the list is FC Liefering over in Austria. And some of you guys may have already noticed their badge is very, very similar to some other clubs out there and that they are playing in the Red Bull Arena in Austria, which does mean if we go into their affiliated clubs, they are affiliated with both RB Salzburg and RB Leipzig. So some very strong affiliations here. So you kind of know the caliber of player that are going to be coming through again. And um, if we go into their facilities levels, you can kind of see again why I'm talking about them. Superb training superb youth, uh, excellent academy coaching and exceptional youth recruitment. So this is kind of the elite tier standard. They are currently in the second tier over in Austria because they cannot be in the top tier because of that affiliation with RB Salzburg. And if we go into all their players and we take a look at Luca Reichel is how I'm going to say this dude's name. 17 years of age. He's on £650 a week. He's good in all the attributes that he needs to be. Granted, he's probably not the best player that you've seen on this list so far. I think that's still reserved from the guy from Belgium. But in terms of being able to put the ball in the back of the net at 17 years of age with 18 natural fitness, good pace as well, I think Luca Reichel could be a very, very good prospect. On to the next one. The next stop on the European tour is Switzerland, and we're talking about FC Basel. Fantastic little club, and as you can see already on the screen, they have a great level of facilities. That's kind of what you would expect in every club in this list. They have excellent training facilities, superb youth facilities, excellent academy coaching, and that exceptional youth recruitment yet again. As I said, that is the key one for me, being able to go out and identify these talents and bringing them into the club to be part of your uh, intake is the key thing for me. If we go into that, their player list we're going to have a look at all their players uh, but the one that i want to talk to you guys about is mateus palacios um, an argentine central midfielder or central attacking midfielder 19 years of age at the start of the game 
uh, currently on a just under uh, or just over 9,000 a week. The flair is what is kind of drawing me to him. 17 flair. He's good on both feet. Decent enough physically where he needs to be. Yes, okay, he's not going to win headers for you. He's got five jumping reach and five heading, but he is going to be that creative force in your team if you need him to be. I think he's going to be a very good talent and could develop very, very nicely in your FM22 save. On to the next. Next stop is Poland, and we're talking about Liga Warsaw. Um, and this is uh, probably, in my opinion, the best club to go for in the nation of Poland. Over on their facilities tab, if we head on over, they have superb training and youth facilities, that good academy coaching, and again, that exceptional youth recruitment. Poland known in FM circles for producing some very, very good talent. It's not just in, in new gen circles, obviously Lewandowski and some of the other players that have come through Poland. These are definitely a team to watch out for. And if we go into their profile, I'm just going to go on this guy here because I think as a goalkeeper, you don't really see many goalkeepers coming through the ranks. So I think initially at first glance, uh, Mizata, uh, Miz, uh, Mizta is how I'm going to potentially butcher this guy's name. 19-year-old goalkeeper. He's already been capped by the Polish under-21 team. Relatively solid in terms of his goalkeeping attributes already and mentally very, very strong. Seeing 12 positioning on someone 19 years of age. Very, very nice physicals as well, which will get better. Um, he's a big frame, 192 centimeters. Uh, I don't know how tall that is in feet and inches, but 192 centimeters, I know that's big. Um, um, I'm six foot, that's 183 centimeters. So that's how I know he's a big dude. Um, very, very nice in a lot of the areas and having that low um, uh, eccentricity is fantastic. If you ask me in terms of what I look for in a goalkeeper, I think this guy could be definitely one to keep an eye on. The next club on the list reside in Norway. Now we've seen Norwegian talent definitely come to the forefront of a lot of people's minds in that shape of Erling Haaland, but also you've got Martin Odegaard amongst many others who are definitely trying to put Norway on the map. This club is called Stabæk. I believe that's how you say it up in Norway. Uh, Stabæk Football um, look like a very, very good club. Again, Norway is very, very ram-packed full of clubs that could do very, very well for you in terms of developing players and being able to poach players from their youth intake. But if we go into their facilities, again, it's the exceptional youth recruitment that draws me to them over some of the others. They've also got excellent academy coaching, excellent youth facilities and great training facilities. If we go into all their players, for me, this is the one that we take a look at. Uh, it, this is a centre-back, Nicholas uh, Pignatel uh, Jensen is what I'm going to say. He's a centre-back, 19 years of age. He's on dirt cheap, £500 a week. He will develop and turn into a very, very solid player by the looks of things. Um, good where he needs to be in terms of his technicals. Mentals, very, very strong early doors and very, very nice physicals. Yeah, okay, he may not be the most agile, but in terms of all of his other physical attributes, I think he is very, very good. He marks opponents tightly and does not dive into tackles as traits right off the rip. I think this could be a very, very worthwhile investment. Sticking in Scandinavia, we are talking now about a team from Denmark. This is FC Norsjaland is again how I believe I'm butchering this particular club's name. Again, apologies to anybody who I'm offending with these pronunciations. Please do let me know down in the comments how well I've done or how badly I've done. I'm very intrigued to see. Nicknamed the Tigers, uh, as I said, playing in Denmark. If we head over to their facilities tab, again, uh, they have great training facilities, excellent youth facilities, excellent academy coaching and excellent youth recruitment. Again, um, if you've played any FM22 this time around, Andreas uh, Schurdlup is how I'm going to butcher this guy's name. The winger, 17 years of age, he is the one to watch out of this club if you ask me. Great on both feet, great mentals, fantastic technicals for someone age 17. Definitely a player that you can try and pick up in your saves. I think there'll be some stiff competition for him though. Let me know how you get on. We're sticking in Scandinavia one final time as we hit up Sweden for Malmo FF. Now, this is the team that uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has previously managed. And again, another fantastic option for picking up Swedish talent. There are, again, in some of these instances, many, many clubs that you could go to. But Malmo is my club of choice when trying to raid Sweden. It seems like they seem to produce a lot, level, uh, a lot of elite level talent. Excellent training facilities, youth facilities and youth recruitment and that good academy coaching make them a very, very tough prospect. If we go into their, all their players, obviously, 
there's one man who kind of sticks out. He's not really what I would say a youth prospect anymore, age 22. But Anel, I'm not going to say his last name. Anel Ahmed Hlozik is how I'm going to say it, um, is the sort of elite level talent coming out of Malmo. In a lot of my saves, he still stays in that light sky blue. He goes to Manchester City, I'd probably say in nine times out of ten saves that I do at the moment. He seems to be a mainstay in that Manchester City team for years to come, despite going out on loan the first few seasons. He is cheaper at the start of the game, and I'm sure you will be able to pick yourself up a bargain. But who hasn't heard of this guy to play centre-back for them? This is the penultimate stop on the European Tour. We are in Bulgaria and we are here to take a look at Ludogorets. Obviously, they are in the Champions League right off the rip. So you can see that their investment is at a good level. Excellent training facilities, excellent youth facilities, good academy coaching and exceptional youth recruitment. Yet again, this that's the one I just, I'm, I'm just banging on about it, guys. That is the one you look for. And um, there are so many good clubs in the world um, and that there's only a certain number that actually do have exceptional youth recruitment recruitment i'm um, going back to their profile this is the guy that you need to look out for dominic yankov uh, central attacking midfielder or central midfielder uh, as a natural but is accomplished on both attacking midfield right and attacking midfield left he's 20 years of age he's been capped by the bulgarian under 21s I think this is the guy. Great determination, so you know he's going to get better. Good on both feet. Has great traits to start things already. Gets into the opposition area. Moves into channels. Plays one-twos. Likes the ball played into his feet and runs with the ball often. This is a ready-built uh, winger or central attacking midfielder. Creative player to come into your team and sort of start dominating that final third. Dominic Yankov. Remember the name. So we head over to Croatia for the last team on my list. And I'm a little bit salty about talking about this team because in my most recent save, uh, most recent season in my Red Star save, Dinamo Zagreb are the team that knocked me out of the Champions League qualifying. Uh, they obviously find themselves in the Champions League. They've got some elite level talent um, already in their squad, uh, let alone in the future. Um, but obviously they knocked me out which is sub-ideal. In terms of their facilities, though, let's have a look. They have great training facilities, great youth facilities, excellent academy coaching, and once again, that exceptional youth recruitment. If we go into their overview, the fan, the man that everybody seems to sign is Dominic Livakovic, the goalkeeper, but he is 26 years of age, so I'm not going to talk to you about him. The guy I'm going to talk to you about is this guy, Ivan Sadonic, um, as a creative force. Again, very, very nice technically. Needs some work on his mental attributes, but is there, is very cheap. I believe you could pick him up for a little bit of a bargain. Natural on on that right hand side or in that cam spot has good traits again already moves into channel shoots from distance places shots curls the ball and cuts inside from the right hand side um i really think he can be a massive massive threat for you let me know down in the comments what you think of these 10 teams are there any that i have missed that you have seen in your saves that are elite at producing young talent please do let me know as i said down in that comments if you have enjoyed today's video if you've learned something discovered 10 new clubs or learned about 10 new players please do drop a like down there whilst you're there as well and subscribe to the channel if you are new around here and ring that bell so you're told each and every time that the channel uploads a video and as i said i've set you a like target for this one if you want to see 10 clubs in south america again hit that like button but until next time guys take care of yourselves take care of each other and i'll see you on another one very very soon